open and uh, before proceeding acknowledge the Tasmanian Aboriginal community as the traditional custodians of the land we're meeting on tonight and pay respect to elders past and present and remind all concerned that the meeting is being recorded audio visually and will be available on the website later this week. Item one, I'm, apologies and I note there are none. Item two, estimates, capital expenditure program fees and charges for 2017-18. I'd like to uh, do with these ad seriatim. So um, the chair is open to a motion in regard to recommendation A. I'll take Alderman Cusick, second Alderman Hume. It just got pipped there. That's right. <laughs> um, Alderman Cusick, would you like to speak? Uh, only very briefly, Mr Mayor. Um, I, I think it's a very sound, sensible, uh, and well considered budget. We, we've, um, uh, we've discussed it um, ad infinitum almost at workshops and I think just quickly I might uh, I think an increase of something like 967,000 or 2.3 per cent recommended and I urge you to support. Other speakers? Norman James. Yes, I think the 2.3 is too much. I think that uh, we could have brought it down by 0 .5, uh, 50 thousand, which would bring it uh, 50, 50 thousand is equivalent to 2.1. Uh, the question uh, arises as to whether or not the uh, the cutting or the savings could be achieved from admin expenses, etc. If we turn to the pie charts, uh, you can see from the, um, uh, the governance there's a financial resource requirements, 19% uh, of the share of the total rate levy is attributable to the governance and there's uh, revenues of 6.087. Uh, Go to the um, it's on communities and people. Again, the share of total rate levy is 18% with revenues of 5.8 versus 13.844. So you can see that the areas that are sort of uh, drawing down on the rate base, so as to speak, are those that I've just have ident identified. Obviously, I haven't dealt on the um, uh, infrastructure for roads and transport because I believe that's a very important area. There's 21% of the share of the rate <coughs> levy there and I've got no problems with that. Also with stormwater, these are our core sort of <coughs> uh, business units as you can say. Also when we come back to the 2.3 it's a little bit disturbing that we haven't had the spread of what impact it will have on the uh, different parts of the community in the past. Bed sheet showing what the impact of the rates increase would be. Uh, Just point of order. Um, we're not dealing with the rates here and no. uh, that will be dealt at a subsequent yeah, meeting it, it, and you yeah, will get that information. Yeah, it, it will be, it will be, but basically once we approve the uh, estimates tonight and the budget mm -hmm. as a whole, then there's very little turning back as far as the 2.3 is concerned because there we are. We're locking in the 2.3 and I think that is, as I said earlier, is, is, is too much and I think we could have done a lot better with that. The other question that has arisen only today is that there has been a, a sort of um, evaluation of the number of properties and the impact 
on the valuation of number of properties within the city can in fact uh, rise in some instances to 4% increase in the rates and in other areas obviously it would stay within those um, pretty much on average of 2.3%. I think we could have done a lot better with this. I will not be supporting the action that has moved. Here I, I normally wouldn't bother because I know it's been a lot of hard work by <coughs> Alderman and in some ways I agree with what Alderman James said. At first I thought it could be uh, down a, a, a fraction less but heavens above we've got so many positive projects coming forward whichever way you look at it. We've got the consumer price index at 2.3 which is not damn bad to have a rating around that uh, amount. When I heard today that Kimbra may put their rates up 7-8%, I was rather horrified, rather horrified. When I look at what we're doing and what we can do, we've got Kangaroo Bay, we, we may take over the port. Now all positive things for Clarence. I reckon these projects in this list are fantastic. Now look, sometimes you've just got to show leadership and I think 2.3, around 2.3 mark, is very, very good for this city. And I think we should uh, uh, support the recommendation. I think we can reduce other speakers. Look, when it comes to budgeting, uh, this is one that's again brought me closer to the needle of. <coughs> Pardon me, Alderman Walker. Other speakers? Right reply, Alderman QC? Hey, uh, Mr Mayor, you know, budgets this complex and this broad cannot please or satisfy totally all stakeholders and I believe satisfactory is good with a budget this complex. Thank you. I put the motion in item A that the estimates for 2017-18 attached as attachment 1 be adopted. All those in favour? Against? Carried. Item B that the capital ex the expenditure program for 2017-18 attached as attachment 2 be adopted. Alderman James, thank you. Seconder, Alderman Chong. Uh, Mr Mayor, look, uh, it is disappointing we didn't have the bus tour and I know that we have had it from year to year and I think it should have fallen on your shoulders, Mr Mayor, to organise that as the leader of the, the gang or leader of the band. But notwithstanding that, a lot of those projects in there are um, really good. I'm pleased to see that Risdon Vale, new sporting come, community come, whatever, has been listed. 
at 972,000. Absolutely. Well, I think it'll get the tick tonight, I'm sure. Maybe too much opposition, I think. And secondly, the, um, uh, the uh, uh, Seven Mile Beach, Acton Road, uh, water drainage, that's another project that I've been keenly working with the residents on and so on. Uh, another 500,000 for the, um, the yellow brick road, which is, <laughs> which uh, obviously is going to be the centre point in which I think we'll play some. Off the agenda and use the funds for other things. <laughs> it finally came back and there it is. A lot of money to be spent on that as to whether or not it's going to pay dividends is another thing. I think the real plus on that though is the lights. But the lights were actually brought into that project and you really can't separate that from the, the other project. But look, overall, um, as I move the motion, I will be supporting the Capital Works and I hope the rest of the Council does likewise. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, as Alderman James said, there's a very good spread of projects here. I know there's a great deal of work goes into prioritising the potential work that we could do within the municipality. And it's great to see that there's work just about everywhere and a whole raft of different things that are being done. And I commend it to Council. <laughs> Um, I'd re reiterate those comments that the spread of projects is excellent. Again, it is our role to adjudicate where monies get spent during the annual <coughs> budget and the money is there to be spent, not be argued about saving. So in that context, I'm sure that the community will be well serviced by the outcome of this budget. Uh, item B, that the capital expenditure program for 2017-18 attached as attachment to be adopted. All those in favour? <coughs> Carried unanimously. Item C, that the list of fees and charges attached as attachment 3 be adopted. Alderman James. Alderman Cusick, thank you. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. Look, that's generally fairly reasonable considered uh, process around the, the appropriate prices of fees and charges in general. Um, that's fairly uh, Thank So item C that the new list of fees and charges attached to the attachment three be adopted. All those in favour? Carried unanimously. I'll declare the meeting closed. Thank you.